let's go into fencing. Man. Yeah, for sure. Dude, I am fascinated by fencing. Yeah. Like, how does what, like, what got you into fencing? Okay, so when I was really young, like, like the only sport in the house, in my house, was, uh, was MMA and UFC. Like, that was it. Like, and I fell in love with it at a very young age. But my, my mom was quite opposed to me getting hit in the head <laughs> at a young age. Uh, which is very fair. Um, totally fair. Totally fair. So uh, when we were thinking about different combat sports and different martial arts to do and, and different stuff like that, I started doing uh, like wrestling, jujitsu, and like uh, like a kind of the Sunshine Coast is really small, so kind of like an MMA type thing. It was like in a gi. I don't know. It was it was about twenty something years ago now. So it was like in a gi with MMA gloves and there was sparring and, and hitting some pads and stuff. And then you're also kind of grappling. So it was like that kind of thing. So I started all of that pretty young, but at the same time, there was a, a fencing program that was going on up at the school. And uh, at the time, my grandfather had just passed away and my parents brought me to go stay with them for a little bit. And there was a fencing program that was like, right, like right there. Like, okay, go and, uh, you can go and try this thing. And I went and I tried it out and I really, really loved it. I fell in love with it like really young. I really love, what I love about all combat sports is the act of com competing with somebody else. It doesn't need to be in a competition. It can be the sparring or whatever, but it's the game that's being played. I really love it. And it's why I love jujitsu is you get to play the game every day. It's why I love fencing. You get to play the game every day. You gonna, you're gonna go and me and you are gonna compete. And we're gonna, we're gonna figure stuff out and I'm gonna win, I'm gonna lose and I'm gonna feel things and I'm gonna find, figure things out through the application of what I'm doing, which I, I really love. So I started with that and then uh, I had, a, like I said, I had a wonderful coach and I ended up, and the, the people around me at that time ended up doing quite, like, quite well. So I kept going with it and kept going with it and kept going with it uh, as long as I was being fairly successful. And then when I was like 16, I really, really wanted to focus on fighting. And one of the ways, so I, I kind of pulled back from fencing. But at the time, I was uh, coaching at, a, at the rec center. So now we're back on the Sunshine Coast. I'm coaching at the rec center. I decided I'm not going to, because I was actually commuting to Richmond uh, to go train. Wow. So I was, I was on Fridays. I would skip the last uh, two blocks of school. I would go. I'd train Friday, Saturday, and I'd come back. Um, so I couldn't do that anymore. I wanted to focus on my wrestling and, and, and this. So I came back, but I was still running this program at the rec center and I had a couple kids. How I used to like end class is I would tell stories about competing. I'd be like, Oh, I remember one time I was here and the hotel caught fire and da 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 and all this stuff. And I had a, a team of kids, about six of them. They were like, Hey, we want to compete. Like, we love what you're saying. We want to compete. And I was like, Oh yeah, you guys should probably go get a coach. You know, I'm like a 16 year old kid. Yeah, you should probably go get a coach. I'm like, yeah, we got one. We got you. And I'm like, I'm not a coach. Like, I have no, like, I can like kind of teach, but I had no idea that I even knew anything about. I was like, I don't know anything about this. Like, I grew up around people who had coached national teams for like Ukraine and Israel and all these other countries. And like, I, I had never, I, I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but I also knew how much I had to, to give up in order to, travel all the way to Vancouver to go and um, to go and train. So I was like, okay, we'll start a, a, a program here for you guys. So it was just six kids when I started my own little uh, gym. And that was my first experience really, really coaching. That's where I went from like, like you're saying an instructor to like a coach. There's a team of kids. I remember one of the first conversations I asked them. I said, hey, um, do you want to be good? Like you go to a tournament and everyone's like, oh my God, like for a small town, these kids are so good. Like, man, it's incredible. I'm like, or do you want to be good? Do you want to like show up and have people be like, all right, they showed up. Shit. Which one do you want? And the kids were like, we want to be good, like really good. So that gave me a whole like different, not just a different perspective, but a whole um, way to, to kind of approach coaching that I hadn't done before, where it was like all trying to like, make them come together as a team and, in, and, and make them the best that they could be, like really the best that they could be. And that was such a cool experience for me. And uh, I trained them for, for four years. Uh, one of them is actually still on the, like he went after he stopped uh, training with me, he went and started training with my old coach and he's actually on the national team 
so he he went on to to do quite well. But that was such a beautiful experience for me was was working with those kids.